Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here with details on how to put the satchel gift bag together. Some preparatory steps. Begin with sticking the paper layers onto the cardstock. If you're using the paper layers, you can construct this without them. Next, take all of the buckle parts and group them into threes. You should then end up with a large buckle, two small buckles, and the very small rectangular buckle. So you'll have three layers stuck on top of each other to make them nice and sturdy. Next, put the little extra bit on the back of the strap that's got the holes in. There's two of those. Then the same for the two that look like vases. And then same again for the two larger versions of that vase shape. And this time I've also applied a couple of sticky fixes, uh, foam pads, to the back of that as well. Then stick all the layers together for the label pocket. And all of the layers on top of the handle that goes on top of the bag. And give it some shape as well while you're at it. Score vertically down each of the gussets or gusset parts. So you'll have three large and three small and you're scoring vertically down the dashed score lines. Don't worry about the horizontals because there's loads of them and you don't need to do it. And then we've got the two long strap handle pieces there. So first bits first, we're gonna stick the large gusset pieces together and that's just by gluing the tabs at either end of the odd shaped ones. Make sure you use enough glue to stick them, not enough that it squidges out. Put that to one side. Then shape the two large bottlenecks or vase necks so that they roll over and so that the ends meet together. Then pop on the two small rectangular buckles, one on each, and apply a little bit of glue and fold that over so that it forms a loop in which the buckle can swivel. Same again for the other one. Then you're going to take the foam pad, uh, sorry, the backing off the foam pads and then stick them in place. And I've put a, a dashed score line where they need to be positioned. So you should be able to match that up. I'm using a little extra glue on the back there as well, just for extra adhesion. Next, grab your main body piece and this gusset is gonna wrap around the large area that you can see on the right. You might want a bit of pencil, but basically you're going to stick it where the last score line is towards the right. Hopefully you can see what I mean. And then you're going to stick it with that buckle piece facing outwards. You can use a bone folder if you want to help stick that down. Make sure it's lined up though. Next, repeat this for the other side. can be a little bit of a fiddle as the card will want to spring back into place but that's the point of those extra score lines that I put in on the curved sections just so that the card will naturally form around that curved section. Then stick the base in place. Hmm, that rhymes. Take your time to make sure everything lines up and that it's evenly positioned. And then just make sure the other flaps that are on the top now are at right, at right angles to their um, sides. Next, you'll need the front section of the small pocket. And I'm showing here putting the label thing in place first. To be honest, it might be easier if you left that till after we've done this bit, but we'll go with it. Next, you'll have two side pieces that have the pointy bits at the bottom and a long bit that fits along the uh, that fits along the bottom of that front panel. Line up the top edge, the flat edge of that short piece with the top edge of that front pocket. 
and then stick the other piece down as well. And this is going to form the side gussets of the front pocket. Fold those back and just make sure those score lines are nice and sharp. And then we're going to stick the bottom piece in place. Again, take your time, make sure everything lines up. Now, for now, we'll turn this over with those flat. We'll come back to it in a second. What we're going to do is form the front buckles. So as we did with the larger versions of this, we'll give that some shape and then feed that through so that the central arm is basically the thing that's going to be rotating Put the glue on the tab, fold that over and stick in place and hold it there until the glue has grabbed. They should then freely rotate at the top of those tabs. Next up we're going to glue those in place. If you're working without the paper layer you should have dashed lines showing where to position these. If you are then it's much easier because you can see exactly where you need to put them because I've cut holes in the paper. Again, just hold those in place until they're fully grabbed. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to finish that gusset. So you'll basically fold in the little tabs at the end of the short sides, put a tiny bit of glue at either end, fold them up to meet the base, and then just clip them in place to hold until they've grabbed. Not strictly necessary, but I found it uh, easier that way. Next up you'll need the front of the bag itself and again you can see here if you're using the paper layer I've got a section cut out especially for this pocket. If you're not then you'll see dashed score lines within the cardstock. I'll be honest I've constructed one without card and one uh, one without paper and one with and it's much easier to see if you've got the paper layers on. So we're just basically sticking that in place and again holding it until it has fully grabbed. Might take some time. Just make sure they're stuck down before you move on. Next up, bring back in the large piece and turn it over. And then we're basically going to apply glue on the back of the uh, strappy bits that have got the holes in and stick those in place. Again, space if you've got the paper layers or dashed lines if you haven't. Now I do show putting the top handle on later as it's slightly easier to do this next bit. And basically we're sticking the front to the gusset so line it up so it meets the top edge and here I have found pinning in place helps because we can just use an extra little push from those pegs to get it stuck in the right place. So do one side first, then the other, and then we'll finish it off by sticking the base down. Make sure you don't get too much glue running out from the side there, especially if you're going to put a peg on it, otherwise the peg will stick in place. Apply glue to the tab at the bottom, and then again, peg in place. I find that using these little pegs gives enough pressure to help the glue stick in position. Now for the long strap, we're going to do what we did earlier. Give the end of the short piece some shape, thread it through the central arm, and then fold over to form a loop. Now before we move on, just give the other flat ends a shaping. The rounded end doesn't need a shaping at this point. Don't glue them down yet though. Next up, take all the pegs off, assuming your glue has dried. And then just start giving that the top of the satchel some shape. If you've used the paper layers, it's gonna be slightly tougher. So you'll need to really sort of just work with it a bit. Don't be too forceful because you might end up just creasing it, but just try your best. Now we're gonna feed the top straps through the bottom buckles 
and this is a little bit fiddly I will admit but with a pokey tool and some perseverance you should be able to get those through. If you're constructing this with just card there is enough tension in the card to hold this in place. If you are using paper layers you might want to put some sticky fixes on the end of those straps at the bottom where I was just shaping it just to give it some extra help sticking in place. As you see it slightly rides up. Okay next up the long strap. So we're going to feed that uh, short end through the side buckle, fold over to form a loop and again hold in place. Same for the long strap at the other end. And then you're going to fold, uh, feed the strap through the buckle, give the end a tiny bit of shape just for decoration and then stick that in place. Now for the top handle, I tend to apply the glue to the card on top first. I did think while I was doing this it might actually be easier to stick this down when it's flat as currently I was using a curved surface to stick this to but either way it works. And here's the finished result. A large satchel so that you can fill it with all sorts of gifts, gift cards, or just masses of chocolate.